Good morning, welcome back to Crochet with Lulu. Today we are doing tutorials. I'm trying to get several tutorials, hence the same pants, the same shirt. <laughs> trying to get several tutorials done so that you will have these for Christmas. So let's jump in, use the yarn of your choice and the hook of your choice that's appropriate to the yarn. Of course, as I tell you, the larger the yarn, the larger the doily, the smaller the yarn, the smaller the doily. We are going to start with our trusty slip knot. I hope everybody's having a good week and a good day. It's Wednesday here in my world, but by the time I post this, I don't know what day it will be. <laughs> so we're gonna make a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna join right back at the beginning. We're gonna weave, we're gonna sew over our tail, okay? This is your tail. We're going to chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. We're gonna put a double crochet right back in there. And then we're gonna chain two. One, two. We're gonna put two more double crochets right back in there. We're gonna want a total of six pairs of double crochets with chain two between them, which means you'll have a total of 12 double crochets with chain two between them. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, chain two two double crochets, one, two, chain two, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, Chain two. Now, every so often, two, three, four, five, we've got one more set. Every so often, you're probably going to want to stop and kind of tighten that up. The hole doesn't have to be completely covered up, but you do want it as much as possible. So we've got five, one, two, three, four, five sets. So we've do, we're going to do one more set. chain two and we're going to join at the top of this first double crochet now we're getting ready a slip stitch just join with the slip stitch right in there chain three counts as our first double crochet we're going to go right back into the second double crochet and that stitch may be a little tight just work your hook right in there Pull it out and try it again. <laughs> now this time between each of these sets, we're gonna we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Come right back in the top of this one. Join with another double crochet. Another double crochet right next to it in that next double crochet. Chain five. And this is a repeat until you get back to the beginning. Again, you will have six sets of double crochets together and then chain five in between. So when you do that last chain of five, Join me back for row three. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you make these and 
what colors you used. Did you change colors? I'm calling this kaleidoscope because when you see the pattern as it goes along, it will remind you of those old kaleidoscopes <clears throat> that you looked in and seen all the colors bouncing around. So this would really be pretty with several different colors. But I think this white is so pretty. It's festive for the Christmas season. We're working our last set of double crochets. You don't have to make your stitches so tight, but you don't want them real loose and baggy either. Okay, when you get done with that, you're going to join at the top of the third one. I mean the first, the first double crochet, but at the top of the top of the stitch. Make sure you go in the stitch and don't do like I just did. <laughs> okay, now we're ready for row three. Row three is a little different. So we chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. We come right here next to it and we do our, our second double crochet. We're gonna chain three, one, two, three. And instead of going over, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna attach with a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain three again, one, two, three. And then we're going to repeat this process all the way around. We're going to do a double crochet right at the top of this double crochet. Double crochet at the top of the next double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Join with a slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three. Go right at the top of the double crochet, double crochet, double crochet right at the top of that one. Chain three. Join with the slip stitch, chain three, my hands are so chapped this morning, I try to keep lotion on them, but it does me no good because I wash my hands so many times <laughs> in a day, they just, lotion doesn't stay on them very well. So that's our repeat for row three. We're just double crochet at the top of the double crochets, chain three, slip stitch, chain three, double crochet, double crochet into the next one. One, two, three, slip stitch, one, two, three, double crochet, double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and I really hope you'll make these and enjoy these. These would make wonderful Christmas gifts. Very little time involved in making these. Now we're gonna we're at the end of row three, so we're gonna join at the top of that double crochet with a slip stitch. Row four is a little 
different. We chain three. We put another double crochet in here. This pattern will remain throughout where you have your double crochets. That will be a continuous thing. However, between the double crochets changes. So we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. We are going to attach two double crochets, but how we do it is different than most double crochets. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna go under here, pull up a loop, and come through the first two loops. And instead of finishing that one, we've got two loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna put another double crochet right here at the top of this chain three. We've got four loops, come through the first two, the second two, and then these two. That gives us an upside down V. Then we're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four. Don't panic, we're gonna do this throughout this row, so by the time we get done, you will be a pro at doing this. Do a double crochet. Double crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Start your double crochet. Pull up. Come through the first two loops. Leave two loops on your hook. Now you're going to kind of want to keep that just a little bit tight. And you'll see why when you finish the stitch. Then hop over here to this next chain three. Pull through. You've got four loops. Pull through the first two, the second two, and the third two. Now chain four, one, two, three, four. Remember I said to keep that a little tight because if you, if you, you know, if you forget to, that's okay. It just helps if you can make them a little tighter to bring your stitches together. So come over here and go through the top of that double crochet and make a double crochet. Put another double crochet right next to it in the top of that one. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And you see where you're working. Sort of looks like a bow tie or an X with those stitches the way we crossed them. So you're going right here at the top of this one. You're gonna start a double crochet, but you're not gonna finish it. Then you yarn over, you go under the next one, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Chain four. Go right at the top of that double crochet. This would be so pretty changing colors. You know, if you do, you don't have to do a Christmas themed doily. You can take any doily and make it for any occasion or any season of the year. And that's what I love about doilies. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Then you're gonna yarn over and go right under here. Just go right under that hump. You've got three loops. Pull through the first two and leave two on your hook. Yarn over, go under this second hump, pull through, and you've got four. Pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Double crochet. Double crochet. 
chain four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, go under that hump, pull your yarn through, you've got three loops, pull through two, leave two, yarn over, go under the second hump, you've got four loops, pull through the first two, pull through the second two, pull through the third two, double crochet, oh, whoops, I forgot my chain four, chain four, one, two, three, four, now double crochet, The good thing about most of your doilies is once you start the row and you get past the first few stitches, it's not as bad. Leave those two yarn over and go through your next one. You've got four loops. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Chain four. And we are at the end of row four. Almost done another double crochet. I don't know where my mind is this morning. We join at the top of that double crochet with a slip stitch. Go ahead and chain three. Go ahead and put your next double crochet right beside it. We're starting row five. Row five is gonna be a little easier. We're gonna chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna go right here at the top of this one and we're gonna join with the slip stitch. We're going to chain three. And right over that V that we made from the previous row, we're going to come right back over here and we're going to put another slip stitch. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to come over here and we're going to do our double crochets and that's going to be the repeat for row five. Very easy row. So basically, all you've done is you've added three, three sets of chain three spaces. So your first one, your second one, and your third one. So chain three, one, two, three. Now, if doing a single crochet is easier for you right here, you can do a single crochet. Just go up and pull up, and you've got two loops. Pull through. That's, that might be easier. I'll just try to do that from now on. Now you're going to jump from here over to this one. We'll join with the single crochet. That's probably going to be easier. One, two, three. And then you're going to join double crochet. Double crochet. One, two, three. Go right here in this first hump. Join with the single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Jump over this upside down V. Join with the single crochet. One, two, three. Double crochet. double crochet and repeat one two three single crochet one two three let me pull my yarn
one, two, three. Jump over here and double crochet. Double crochet. The tighter your stitches, the neater your doily is gonna look when you're finished because some kind, sometimes it's hard to distinguish that that's an upside down V if your stitches are real loose. Chain three, one, two, three. Go right in this first hump, join with the single crochet. We're just gonna do single crochets on that. Chain three, come over the upside down V, join with another single crochet, chain three, double crochet, double crochet into the next one, chain three, one, two, three. We're about at the end of row five. So we are trucking right along this morning. Chain three, one, two, three. Come over this hump, join with the single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. And then we are going to join at the top of this double crochet. So we have just finished row five. We're gonna chain three, one, two, three. We're gonna start row six. Row six is kind of a re repeat of row four but you're gonna add more upside down Vs and I know you're so excited. But this is what it's looking like so far. Isn't that pretty? These are so pretty because they just keep straight your six sets of double crochets. And then all of this in here is just added. Okay, so let's do another double crochet right at the top of that one. That will repeat through every row. That will stay the same. Okay, we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Right in this first hump, we are going to do our upside down V starting it. We will do a part of a double crochet and then we'll hop over here to our second hump, which is our middle hump. And we are going to finish that double crochet. Let me do this again. Okay. We do a part of a double crochet. We start the double crochet. We pull through two. We have two loops left on our hook. Yarn over. Come over to this little tiny center hump. Pull through. You've got four loops, so you finish that double crochet. Then you're going to chain five. One two, three, four, five. You're gonna come into this same space here where you just finished that one double crochet. You're gonna start your second upside down V. Pull through two, leave two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through, go into this last hump space between, pull up, you've got four loops. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. You have two upside down Vs. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and do your double crochet at the top of your double crochet. Your second double crochet right at the top of that one. And then we're gonna repeat chain five, one, two, three, four, five. 
come right here to this this hump yarn over pull through pull up a loop you've got three loops pull through two and keep two on the hook yarn over pull through go to your second hump that's that little space pull through you've got four loops pull through two pull through two and pull through two chain five one two three four five go back into this chain space yarn over pull through pull up go through the first two yarn over pull up go into this next hump pull through you have four loops one two three four go through two go through two and go through two chain five one two three four five double crochet double crochet and if you wonder what I do at the end of each double crochet when you see this finger move I like to pull that stitch down so that my double crochets are tight chain five one two three four five I'm gonna pull me some yarn up now our pattern we're gonna go into here and we're gonna put part of a V and part of another V then we're going to chain five put another part of the V and another part of the V if that helps so you yarn over you pull through like you're going to do your first double crochet but you're only going to pull through two loops yarn over pull through go into this tiny space here Pull through you've got four loops pull through two pull through two pull through two chain five one two three four five you're gonna repeat that process in that same you're gonna make part of a double crochet yarn over pull through pull through the first two leave two loops Yarn over and go over into this space, pull through. You have four loops. Pull through the first two, the second two, and the last two. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And do your double crochets. I know that's confusing. It's so pretty when you finish your doily and you look back and all those little ridges that drove you batty doing them, they become so pretty and so much part of the pattern. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Start your first double crochet, pull through two, yarn over, Go into this middle space here, pull through. You have four loops, one, two, three, four. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. While you're still in that space, yarn over, pull through, back through that space. Pull up, you have three loops, pull through two, yarn over, come over into this space, pull through, you have four loops, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Just repeat that all the way around. Double crochet at the top of those two double crochets.
chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, go through this first space, pull through, and pull through two loops. Leave two, yarn over, go into the center space, yarn over, pull through. You have four loops, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, go back in that same space and start a double crochet. Pull through two, leave two loops on there. Yarn over, come over into this space, pull through. You have four loops, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Chain five. Now you're going to do your double crochets. One double crochet. Two double crochet. And we're almost at the end of row six. So chain five. Yarn over. Pull through. Pull through two. Yarn over, go to the center. Chain five. Join at the top of this double crochet with a slip stitch. And we have just finished row six. Now row seven, we have more humps. So we chain three, one, two, three. We make another double crochet right at the top. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go into this space, join with a double crochet, I mean a single crochet, excuse me, chain five, jump over this V, go into this one, pull up, join with a uh, single crochet, whew, I'll get over this maybe, two, three, four, five, Jump over this upside down V, join with the single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, five. And then we do our double crochets. So that's a repeat for row seven. This is your final row. After you do that, I've split my stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Go into this first hump, pull through, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Go into this second hump, pull up, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't have to fight with yarn. <laughs> Pull up, single crochet. Now you kind of want that stitch tight. One, two, three, four, five. Go into your next hump. Pull up, single crochet. Tighten it up, one, two, three, four, five. Come over this V, single crochet. 
Oh my goodness. Do you see what I done? Let's go back and try this process all over again. I may need to wake up and try this tutorial all over again. <laughs> I just complete, I thought that seemed awful long. Okay, let's do this one more time. We yarn over, pull through, single crochet, chain five. Then we double crochet. I thought, oh my goodness, that's a lot of humps in one, one section. And then it hit me, what have I done? So between each set of double crochets, you're gonna have four humps. So here's a double crochet. So you've got one, two, three, four humps. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, the more I get into this doily, the bigger mess I've made. Pull up, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. This is our second hump. Pull up, single crochet. Tighten that stitch down. One, two, three, four, five. This is gonna make our third hump. One, two, three, four, five, and that's our fourth hump, and it attaches to this double crochet, and then make another double crochet, and that's your repeat. You're making four humps between each double crochet. our third one. Here's our double crochet. So you got one, two, three. And then do your double crochets. This is your final row. All those little humps makes it seem like it's longer. Jump right over to the next one. Double crochet, double crochet, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We are just about finished with this row. So join, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. And I do apologize for all the food plaws I've made. One, two, three, four, five. And then we join in the top of the third stitch 
with a slip stitch and we are done. We are done. Let's clip. See how pretty. And maybe over just a little bit. And as I always tell you, just pull your your stitches out where you want them. Now see how pretty, see this comes down through here. This comes here, this comes here. See how pretty that pattern is? And then you'll just want to kind of separate your little sections, however you want to do that. Isn't that pretty? Now you could use different colors. You could, you know, start off with one color and do a couple of rows with another color, however you want it. Use the colors that your ch your choice, your preference, and then you're just going to want to snip this tail because we've done we've done went through that. Now all you have to do now is just weave in this tail. And you are finished. Now again, I don't use spray starch. But what I do is I like to get Elmer's glue. Lay this on a sheet of wax paper. Saturate it. Just, I mean saturate it. Fiddle with it, fiddle with it, fiddle with it. Get all that Elmer's glue down in those stitches. Pull it out. Now this is not real, real flimsy. So you really won't need a lot of attention to starch this. Now you can make these square or you can leave them as rounded humps. I think the rounded humps is pretty. Just piddle with it, fiddle with it till you're happy with where your stitches are. If you want to use spray starch, that's totally up to you. But I would lay it on a sheet of wax paper. Spray it down good, wet it, let it almost dry if you're using starch. Then come back, flip it over, spray it again. And there's your pretty kaleidoscope doily. Hope you've enjoyed making these. Let me know what colors you used and... Did you spray starch or did you glue it? Join me back next time for more crochet with Lulu. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you've liked it. And join me back next time for more crochet with Lulu. Bye-bye.